This short video will look at the importance of data quality and data discipline as a foundational requirement of using your EMR as a tool or resource in panel management. We all know the importance of EMRs for the documentation and storage of important patient information such as visits, medications, allergies, and interventions such as lab, diagnostic imaging, and consults. The real power of the EMR, however, comes from using all that data we collect along with EMR functionality to provide better, safer patient care for our patient population. In that access, that functionality comes in the form of task reminders, reporting, and point-of-care reminders such as goals and CDS triggers. I'm sure you've all heard the term garbage in, garbage out. None of this advanced functionality works well without some form of data discipline or quality. So what is data discipline and quality? Do we enter information in a structured, standardized way so that the EMR tools can easily find that data and present them to you in a usable, consumable way? As we evolve from using our EMRs as simply a place to store information to using our EMRs to pull out information when we need it most, data discipline becomes a necessity. If you're just starting on your EMR journey, it's never too soon to start thinking about the data you will need to be pulling out and needing to find easily. If you've been at this for a while, changes can still be made on a go-forward basis, or records can be cleaned up retrospectively. Let's have a look at the EMR now and see where data quality and discipline can make these tools work more efficiently. First off, in the demographics section, for the identification of your panel, ensure you assign and document the most responsible provider. and that the status of the patient is identified. Typically, an active status is used for patients seen in the past 36 months. To add additional statuses, hover by the patient status word until a folder appears. Click on the folder and add additional statuses. Statuses for transitory patients can be added here. This is very effective for excluding certain groups of patients from your panel management activities. The profile page is critical in being able to group patients with similar conditions for population care. For example, if you want to manage your diabetics, by coding diabetes on patients with the condition, you can easily pull a list of diabetics or use point-of-care reminders for your diabetics by creating queries or CDS triggers looking for the 250 code. Profile can also be used to document lifestyle items such as tobacco and alcohol use for easy searchability. Using templates to document important observations in discrete data fields as opposed to simply typing them in text boxes will allow system tools to find those values. For instance, putting blood pressures in the blood pressure field will allow the goals page to find that BP and report it as complete and tell you the last value at a glance.
tagging your electronic or scanned documents in a standardized way is a must if you want the tools to be able to find and report on those items. The best way to tag in MetAccess is to decide on a nomenclature and add those items to the type field in tasks. This must be done by someone with administrative rights. Adding additional types, simply hover beside the type until the folder appears. And add the maneuver. Labs in most cases are the easiest to standardize as they generally come in electronically. However, there are times when faxed or mailed lab results come in. If you want those results to be picked up by the MedAccess reporting features, goals, or CDS triggers, you need to manually enter those results. Simply scanning in the result will not be enough as it will not be searchable. In order to do this, click on the menu beside the result, click on Add Observation, and then add the observation you wanted to enter. You have to be sure and label the observation exactly the same way as the lab does. In this case, I'm adding a glucose fasting. I enter my result and save. As you can see here, now our goals page has picked that up as well. You can explore all these functions by going to the MedAccess help files, but remember, they only work as well as the quality of the data we put in.